So I've just been revising for my own quantitative methods exam at university and I was thinking about the ways I revise maths exams and what tips I could give you guys doing your GCSE maths. So at GCSE level I achieved an A star in my maths exam and I'm going to give you guys some tips of how I did it but also looking back now at how I could improve my own revision and use my time more effectively. So in my head I think of maths as a bit of a strange subject. It's not like other subjects which have definitive topics and separate areas and one question in an exam will ask you often about one or two topics of those. In a maths exam you probably have one question which involves many different parts of the course and you have to have these basic foundations to understand the question. So in one question in a maths paper you could be asked anything from applying your knowledge about rearrangement to substitution to apply an equation. In one single question in maths you could be asked to rearrange, substitute and solve an equation. Now these are the skills which I would focus on first. So the core sort of skills you need to tackle any question on that given topic. So some of these skills are pretty obvious. So obviously if you ask a question about a histogram you need to be able to understand how histograms work and how to draw one and what labels go on the axes and things like that. These topics could also be broken down into separate areas. So let's take rearranging for example. When we're rearranging, we have to understand four basic principles. How to rearrange if we're adding, subtracting, multiplying or dividing and what you do with each scenario. Once you've learnt these four basic principles, then you can move on to look at more difficult scenarios involving rearranging. Rearrangements involving square roots and powers could come after you've learnt the basic principles. So in my head, maths does not require a lot of reading your notes and trying to understand a lot. The principles are pretty basic and maths is all about that practicing part. You can understand how to do everything, but when you're applying it to a different situation, it might become more difficult. In maths, you need to be able to plan your time effectively to allow you to give you time before an exam to go through all the practice questions you have, all the past papers you have, to get that practice in. Now in previous videos I've said that textbooks are absolutely paramount to your revision, but in maths it's actually quite the opposite. I'd say that textbooks aren't actually required, I don't think I use a textbook for maths, and I'd focus more on past papers and questions rather than trying to read around it and learn it that way. So what I mean by planning your time effectively is that you want to give yourself plenty of time to go through the maths questions. You don't want to be going into the final week before your exam having done no practice questions and having about five past papers to go through and six sheets of questions because you won't learn from it. I think when I was doing my maths exam I had at least a month or a month and a half before where I, probably, I pretty much did all the questions already and by that time I was recycling through the questions, redoing them. That's another important point because you want to plan the questions that you go through effectively. So you don't want to be revising a topic and then going off and doing a completely another question not related to that topic. So what I would say is that you would want to have some questions which are topic based so that when you revise and you've just been over something you can try and attempt questions to do with that. But also you want to leave past papers so that you have unseen questions and there are more challenging sort of things left for the past papers. There's no use in going to do a past paper if you've already seen all the questions available on there. However, redoing questions is almost as important as doing them. If you do a question and you get it wrong, then you can reattempt it in a week or two, and then if you get it right, it shows that you've progressed and understand the topic more. So this is a good measure of how you're getting along. If you're trying to do the same question and keep failing on the same thing for four weeks straight, then you need to go and get some help off your teachers. So although it's no good in redoing the same questions over and over, because then you're just learning the method rather than the understanding, it's important to plan your use of questions effectively so you can say, right, I'll attempt this this week, then I'll mark it, then I'm going to attempt it in a couple of weeks' time, and hopefully I'll get a higher mark on that set of questions or that past paper. Another point is that in every single subject, you can always learn some model answers or model methods. Maths is no different to this, because in maths there's always them questions which will come up repeatedly and it's just a simple learn the answer and you don't have to understand it. Every single year powers would come up. So the most common question was, 
what's this number to the power of 0? And now that's just 1. Anything to the power of 0 is 1. So I've learnt that and it came up in my exam. And although it's just a mark, it's a mark I didn't have to worry about because I already knew the answer. Another thing that always came up was quadratic equations. Now, I couldn't determine what equation was going to come up, but I can certainly learn the method and lay the method out exactly as I know it, and then there's no reason why I should be getting it wrong. If I relate it to how I studied at GCSE, then I pretty much did at least 50-50. I would revise a little bit, do questions, revise a little bit, do questions, and that's the pattern I took right up until about two months before the exam and I sat my exam in November so lovely revising over the summer it's fair to say I didn't do too much and so when I got back in September though I literally just did every past paper out there I did everything I could and then when it, get, when it got to the middle of October I, I've already done all the questions and I started recycling through them that allowed me to see my progression and to see my weak areas and what questions I just didn't get and I needed to get help on. If you do all the questions available then you'll also start to notice patterns in exam papers and what questions come up every year. Also you might even get lucky and actually get the exact same question. If you do a past paper from 2005 say and you're going to sit the exam this year then you might be lucky and they might start recycling questions and it happens quite often. In my A levels I had the exact question in my biology exam that was on a 2002 paper which I already done and by doing past papers it gets you into that good position of understanding what topics could come up, what topics come up often and so you can learn what sort of approach the exam will take so what topics come up in the easier first half of the paper and then what topics are often the harder topics of the paper um, you can plan sort of how you want to go about the paper, do you want to do the harder questions first and then go to the easier questions and by doing those past papers in exam style you give yourself that chance of improving your technique in the exam. That's pretty much it guys, that's all I've got to say is just practice, practice, practice for maths. There's no point in sitting down and reading about it, there's no point in getting a mark scheme up and reading the mark scheme, you've just got to practice and learn it that way. Let me know your opinions down in the comments and do you have the same mentality as me? Is maths all about practice, 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 or would you rather sit there with a textbook and try and understand everything? I'm planning on doing more videos like this for every subject, but also videos on how to get those higher grades at GCSE and how to get the most out of your exams.